If your LG 4K Smart TV's Wi-Fi network is not working, you are getting low speed, it says not connected, keeps disconnecting, or you can find any Wi-Fi while searching, then stay tuned and I'll help you fix any Wi-Fi network issues on your LG NanoCell TV running on WebOS. The first and very basic thing that we'll try is checking the Wi-Fi network and whether it's connected properly or not. So let's open settings by pressing on the settings button. From there go to network. Your LG TV only remembers one Wi-Fi network at a time, so if you have connected to a different network, then it will disconnect from the old one. So make sure that it's not the case here, and then to forget the network, we'll just highlight the Wi-Fi that we're connected to and press OK. Then connect it back again and see if the Wi-Fi is working now. If you're still unable to connect to the Wi-Fi, or if the Wi-Fi is not working and you're getting no internet, then we need to make sure that the Wi-Fi is working properly. To do that, you can connect your TV to a different Wi-Fi network or a mobile hotspot and see if that works. If your TV can connect to a different network, then you need to troubleshoot your Wi-Fi first. First, you can try restarting your router. If it doesn't help, then make sure that your router is not too old. Because most of the times, your new LG Smart TV will have issues connecting to your outdated Wi-Fi router. So you may need to get a new one. And also make sure your router is not too far away from your TV. Keep it as near to your TV as possible. You can also try contacting your ISP for more details. And if a lot of devices is connected to the same router, it may also cause Wi-Fi issues. But if your TV couldn't connect to any network, then we need to troubleshoot our TV. We'll start by cold booting our TV. But before that, we'll turn off another settings. So let's open up settings. From there, we need to go to all settings. General. Devices and then go to TV management. Then turn off Quick Start Plus from here. Sometimes if this settings is enabled, when you turn off your TV and then turn it on, your Wi-Fi may get disconnected. So after disabling this, we'll cold boot our TV. To do that, turn off your TV first. And when it's turned off, disconnect the power cable, hold the power button of your TV for 30 seconds, and then let your TV sit for about 5 minutes before plugging the cable back in and turn your TV back on. After it's turned on, check your Wi-Fi and it should be fixed. Now if you're one of those users who can't find any Wi-Fi network while searching for them, it may be glitched out and to fix this we'll change our location and then change it back. For that we need to go to settings, then all settings, go to general and then system. And while we're here, it's also important to check your time and make sure that the time and date stated is correct and also you are in the right time zone. If not, you can turn off set automatically and then adjust the time manually. So let's go back to what we were doing. Go to locations and from here, you'll change your broadcast country to a different one. You can pick any of these and then press yes. After that, the settings application will restart. After the restart, we'll need to go back to the same settings and then change back the country to our own one. Then restart your TV again and you should have no issues finding Wi-Fi networks and connecting to them. If you're still facing Wi-Fi issues, then we can try setting up a custom DNS. So we'll open settings once again and from there go to network settings, go to Wi-Fi connections, other network settings, then go down to advanced Wi-Fi settings and select edit. We need to uncheck set automatically then go down to DNS server. Now we will put in a custom DNS, which can speed up your Wi-Fi speed. Generally, the best two options are Google's or Cloudflare's DNS. We are gonna use Google's DNS, which is 8.8.8.8. .8 After putting it in, hit enter, and the custom DNS server is set. Then just tap on connect, and your Wi-Fi will reconnect to the internet. After that, your network speed should improve. You can also try different DNS servers, which can work better in your case. After following all of these, your LG TV's Wi-Fi connection should improve. But if you're still facing connectivity problems, then it may be caused by a faulty Wi-Fi chip and you should contact LG support for further assistance. In the meantime, you can switch to an Ethernet connection which will resolve any internet issues and improve your connectivity. Hopefully we are able to help you out. Do leave your feedback and I'll see you around.